if, if you've got an orange juice machine and it has some kind of a uh, an oil drip on it and and it drips until it becomes a big puddle and you can tell that that's been going on for a long time and you slip on it that's that's a pretty good case mm. but if if something has just happened and the store has a chart now you, most of them do where they show every 30 minutes somebody inspected went down the aisles mm -hmm. and cleaned up a spill or did whatever they have something in place to protect or help uh, guard against a customer falling down or having an injury. Right. Is, is that what you mean by a process or a procedure? That, right. That that is, in, in fact, if they have what you have just described, uh, the, the courts have said that they, no, they have fulfilled their duty to the customer. If they've got a checklist like that and and inspect the floors every 15 to 30 minutes. Um, and actually do it and sign off on it. They have that's an absolute defense. They have now fulfilled their duty to the customer, and they are, the law does not require them to do any further than that. So you have to have a question of fact, though, out of all that. Right, and that's what this this particular store was arguing. There were no facts on which we could win because of these rainy day cases, and we were able to show. Well, let's hold on a second. There are some facts here that make this different from those other cases. Right.